Thousands of women of all ages ready to roll, trying to strike it big in the suburbs. The DuPage County Bowling Alley is hosting some of the best bowlers in the country for the USBC Women's mm -hmm. Championships. And it lasts for more than 70 days. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick joins us live from the Stardust Bowl in Addison with more on why those bowlers behind her aren't the only ones walking away with big wins. Meredith. Erica, Brad, this is the biggest women's sporting event in the country. Things have just wrapped up here for the day, but not for good. Women from all over the world will be bowling right here in Addison until July 3rd, and that means a big boost to our local economy. By the numbers, 72 days of bowling excitement. We're expecting about 12,000 to 13,000 participants and their families. For the past seven years, Beth Marchetti and the DuPage Convention and Visitors Bureau have been anticipating these 84 lanes being filled with female bowlers. The 102-year-old tournament hasn't been hosted in the Chicagoland area in more than 70 years. We're we'll competing with Las Vegas, Reno, Nevada, Baton Rouge, uh, Wichita, Kansas, so it's just such a pleasure and honor to host this here in DuPage County. The tournament has drawn women from Alaska, Bermuda, and several European countries. Sarah Burkhall is from Newport News, Virginia, competing in the women's nationals for the very first time. To be with all these women, I mean, some of these women have been doing this for 25, 30 years coming to this tournament. It's amazing. And in between their strikes and spares, Sarah, her teammates, and other bowlers are expected to spend millions of dollars. So right now, we have at least 6,000 hotel rooms booked. We're expecting that to double. So uh, on a conservative average, we're thinking this might be a $12 million estimated economic impact for the Chicagoland area. Money that won't just be spent at hotels, but in restaurants, shops, and tourism attractions. Dollars, Beth says, are desperately needed for post-pandemic recovery in Illinois. Competitors range from professionals to women who are simply here to just have fun. They compete either on a team or as an individual, and they could walk away with some of the more than $2 million in prize money that's up for stake. Reporting live in Addison, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS 2 News.